Um, have you ever wondered what might happen if Ethereum, the second largest cryptocurrency by market capitalization, finally got the green light from the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission to trade as a spot exchange traded fund? Michael Nadu, a well-known crypto analyst at the DeFi Report, shares his thoughts on this intriguing possibility. Bar uh, first, let's take a brief look at Michael Nadeau and his background, known for his insightful analyses on decentralized finance, DeFi, and blockchain technology. Nadeau has made a name for himself in the crypto community. And his expertise lies primarily in Ethereum and its ecosystem. And imagine the impact of Ethereum ETFs on the market. Uh, according to ETF specialists at Bloomberg, the estimated inflow of funds into these new ETFs could be anywhere between 14 and 20 percent of the amount invested in Bitcoin ETFs. Why? Several reasons come into play here. Less institutional interest in Ethereum compared to Bitcoin. The complex nature of understanding Ethereum and lower trading volumes in Ethereum futures and Ethereum's current market cap being roughly one-third that of Bitcoin with Bitcoin ETFs having attracted around $13 billion in net flows since their inception, we could expect Ethereum ETFs to draw in $1.3 to $2.6 billion. So how does this relate to Ethereum's price? Well, remember when Bitcoin saw a massive 75% increase in price after its spot ETF started trading, analysts believe Ethereum could show experience a similar surge possibly surpassing its previous all-time high of $4,800. But why would Ethereum perform better than Bitcoin? For starters, Ethereum validators don't face the same structural selling pressure as Bitcoin miners. Approximately 38% of Ethereum's total supply is precise from the family. As precisely 500% on the governments we need for COVID-19, there is no efficient difference uh, component we need to make more applied to determine the COVID-19 cell pressure. And let's not forget that Ethereum isn't just a currency, it's also a foundational technology powering the growth of Web3, opening up a much larger addressable market than uh, Bitcoin. And the good news doesn't stop there. NATO sees a highly bullish future for the entire crypto market citing numerous positive factors such as technological innovations, favorable economic conditions, and political developments, the Bitcoin halving cycle, and regulatory approvals. Plus, with decreased regulatory concerns, especially regarding the SEC under Chair Gary Gensler, the stage seems set for even more exciting times ahead. With that said, thanks for watching, and uh, until next time. Oh, and here's a little joke for you. Why did the Ethereum developer go broke? Because he kept mining Bryant records instead of Ether.